Savage Business. Simple business advice for you to start and run your business. What's going on? Welcome to another edition of Savage Business. Simple business advice to help you start and grow your business. Today, we're going to be talking about how to start a business worth $1,000 to $5,000. This video was brought to you by Hustlers Kung Fu University, aka Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills, where our current course that we have going on is how to make money from scratch to set up in the foundation. So if you want to get 50% off of this course, what you will do is leave a comment on this video. And also, there's a whole lot more for you at Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills. We deal with credit repair. We deal with how to start a business and the money management course. If you want 50% off of this course, leave a comment in the video. So we got a lot of stuff going on. So let's get into this wonderful bean footage. And we're gonna get into a few areas that no one ever talks about. If this is your first time here, this is your host, Glenn Diggin Cameron, serial entrepreneur. What I want you to do is to go back to the beginning of the channel and begin watching all of the videos. This is going to help you with your business journey. So today, we're gonna to get off into you got $1,000 to $5,000 and you want to invest in a business. I'm going to tell you where to put that $1,000 to $5,000. Now, the first thing, and this is going to be a little inner strange, is you should pay for a custom website. Now, once again, you're going to start your website through Wix or whatever and use a template. That's fine and everything because once you start talking to web developers, it's literally gonna take you two to three weeks, or if you really get deep, cause I'm about to have a website that's built, it's gonna take 90 days cause they've got to do the coding and build it out by frame. It won't be a template. So know that when you're getting into doing a website, you want to have a custom design website, not a template. You've seen these websites that are templates and you're just like, eh, eh, eh. And then Apple is a custom website. IBM is a custom website. And this is gonna be anywhere from a thousand up to $3,000, depending on what your website does. But this is where you wanna put some of that money. The second place you wanna put some of that money is in promotion. You want to either do Facebook ads or you wanna do Google ads. If you have a service business, Google ads are gonna be your best friend and you're gonna start off with a very low budget, five to 10 bucks a day. And because here's the thing, you're gonna to have to test three to five different ad sets. You're gonna test your concepts because if it's not gonna work at 10 bucks a day, guess what? It's not gonna work at 500 bucks a day. It's just not gonna work. So what you're gonna do is create a bunch of small ads and make sure that they work and convert to your website. And another area that you want to invest some of this money is in branding. You want to have a logo design for your business. This could be 300 up to several thousand dollars, depending on who you get to do your logo and who you get to set up stuff. So you, you have that. And also, you want to take some of this money and set up your legal structure. Because I'm going to talk a minute about starting a business with no money. But this is, if you got some money, these are the things you should do. You should go ahead. Ideally, if you're like me, a serial entrepreneur, and you know that once you start this one business, you're gonna start something else. You wanna start a holding company and then a subsidiary, which is an operating company, or a child company of the parent company. And that's gonna be, you know, if you do it yourself, it's gonna be two to 300 bucks. If you pay someone, it's gonna be 12 to $1,500. So these are areas that you need to put that money into. Now, if you're doing a resale-like business, you're obviously gonna to have to put that money towards product, which now brings us into starting a business with no money. 
Years and years ago, I had someone start a service business with absolutely zero upfront investment. Not a penny was spent. And this is what I think you should do even if you have one to $5,000. Because here's the thing, money hides flaws. Money hides blind spots and deficiencies. So if your business is going to work and you're out there like, take Cleaver's business. You know, he was a guy who was listening to my 30 days to $2,500 uh, per month course, 2014, I believe. And he went in and he was able to make like, you know, 900 bucks his first few days with zero investment. So he didn't have a business card. He didn't have an LLC. He didn't have a logo. He didn't have, a, he didn't have none of that stuff. So that's just to show you that if your business model works, it's going to work. You're going to make some money. And that's what you should be primarily focused on, even if you have money, because you want to see if your product or service can go out into the marketplace and convert into a sale. That's what you prime. That should be your, you should be obsessed with that. You should be like losing your mind over that because I get a lot of people who's like, Hey, I got 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, $70,000 to invest. Once again, my same answer would be start your business for the low, low to no money and see if you can make some sales. Because if you invest $50,000 into a turn of a business, it still ain't going to make any money. So the money that you have to invest is immaterial to the success of your business model if you don't validate your business model first. Like seriously, uh, one of the things that I think that people should be doing is going out and starting a business and trying to make some money as fast as possible. Because all of this other stuff, which is important, it can come later. You got to see if your business makes money. This is one of the things that has happened with internet businesses because you know, on this channel, be sure to subscribe, be sure to like, comment, let me know your thoughts. And I will be doing these little talks about the internet business because you know, many people will hear something and think that's the way they should run their business. I remember years and years ago when I was selling commercial office furniture, I sold this woman some brand new you know, commercial office furniture. She spent like $40,000 with me. She had rented office space. She had bought office furniture. She had got these phones. She had got all these computer systems. And she had, I think like $300,000 saved. And she was spending money like a crackhead, but she wasn't developing her business. She was spending money to look like she was in business. She had office. She had staff, she had office furniture, she had the logo, but she should have been on the phone dialing, getting customers. Because even though she had $300,000, you know, 18 months later, I saw that she was trying to sell the furniture because she had ran out of money. So even if you start off with $300,000, if you are not about the, the obsessed with developing your customer base, obsessed with sales, obsessed with revenue, you're just not going to make it. Now, I should also say aside, because I will speak about this in the future, that you will also need to know about you know, your customer. Sometimes you can spend a year or two just figuring out your customer. There was this chick by the name of Emily Weiss, and the name of her company is Glossier. And she spent four years writing this blog into the gloss, and the blog was a customer development tool. She was getting people to the, the blog, they were reading the blog, and they were providing her feedback. So when she started her cosmetics company, she knew exactly what the customer wanted. So once again, you know, she worked the job, she hustled hard, but, but due to the information that she had and she knew what women wanted, she was able to go to a venture capital fund 
talk to someone and walk out with a million dollar check. And I think at this point they've raised a hundred million dollars and the company's valued at like two billion. So one of the things you've got to understand, this is highly incumbent upon your business model. All business information and business advice and business tips do not apply equally to every business. So it really depends on what you are doing. And you know, once again, I, I get all these questions like, what's you know, like, I did a live stream on my main channel this morning. Someone's like, what stock should I buy? I don't know. I, and actually I started saying one that you have researched. If you're going to be investing, you should know everything you can about the stock market. You should read books. You should get professional help. You should school yourself. You should be well armed with knowledge and ability. Because here's the thing, starting a service business, which is where I point a lot of people into it, because I'll, I'll give you my story in a minute, is a very quick way for someone with limited experience, limited money to start a business and make you know, $30,000 their first year. Now, I know that doesn't sound like a lot of money, but bear with me. The average American, 51% of Americans don't make $28,000 a year. So if you're one of the average Americans and you start a service business on the side, you're keeping your job, you're not quitting your job. You literally doubled your income in one year. And doubling your income will change your life. This is my story. I was just like you. I was out there, I was living in this boarding house. I wanted so desperately to be more successful. I wanted desperately to have more money. And I just didn't have the knowledge. And that's one of the things you're gonna get on this channel when you subscribe and you watch all the videos. You're gonna get knowledge that you don't have. And I ended up in a very bad situation for three years because I didn't have knowledge. I didn't have skill sets. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't, need, I didn't even know what I didn't know. I just knew that I wasn't making money and I was miserable. So I came up with this scheme that got me into my first job that paid $38,000 a year plus a commission. And then I leveraged that job and those connections into another job where I was making $60,000 a year plus commission. Then I leveraged that job into another job where I was making six figures because it was all commission because I was an outside salesperson. I got to meet customers, run projects, manage crews and stuff. And at that point is when I jumped into my own business. I did not just go from that boarding house to my own business because there was a training process that needed to take place. I had to acquire more skills. I had to level up. I had to develop networks. I had to get to know people. I had to start, you know, uh, develop contacts, you know, because one of the things that I did is because I sold commercial office furniture, it was very easy for me to get these accounts because they already knew who I was. So there, there was a certain leverage and I know, I know, I know, I know, I know you hate your job and you want to be your own man and be your own woman and start your own business. I know, I know, I know. But you must go through the matriculation process of skilling yourself up, making yourself more valuable, and getting the skill sets and the knowledge that you need to go out into the marketplace and start a competitive winning business. Because here's the thing, business is simple. Running a business is complicated because you have to get over yourself. Like, I, I run a media company and education company. And for me to consistently do what I need to do, every day I have to get up and I have to make videos and I have to put out content and I have to do live streams. Whether I feel like it or not, because this is one of the things you will see in your business. When you see your effort is consistent for a long time, you will see your income go up. And I guarantee you, if you look at your effort for in 90 day windows, and if you go hard for 90 days, your income's gonna be fine. But if you start taking days off, laying in bed, lollygagging, uh, not keeping your eye on the ball, your income's gonna go down. You will be able to track your income 
by your activity. So one of the things that so many people uh, get wrong is they want to start a business and they don't want to work. They don't want to work. It's just like, I'm the boss, I want to hire someone, I want to outsource, and they essentially don't want to work. And what I have learned, and this is some lesson that you may be ready to receive, you may not, but there's going to come a period where you're going to have to work as hard as you can. And then during that period, you're going to get to know yourself and you're going to get to know your abilities and you're going to grow as a person. And this is where you develop these skills. This is where you develop the ability because I was in the storage auction business. And let me explain to you how the storage auction business helped me with an online business that is not even related. That's completely different. The storage auction business, I work incredibly hard because you know, essentially, if you know anything about storage auctions, that you have to go when they have the auctions. So they had auctions at certain parts of the month, had to be there in person, had to have cash, and they only gave you 24 to 72 hours to clean out these units. So you were in a constant state of showing up at auctions, buying inventory, moving inventory, processing inventory, cleaning inventory, selling inventory. This was one of the reasons that I had these 60, 70 hour weeks because it was a lot of time and effort and I worked that hard for years. I developed the habit of working hard. I developed the habit of constantly marketing. I was writing Craigslist ads every day, seven days a week sometimes, every day, years for years and years and years and at this point when I came to YouTube because of the skill sets and the habits the good habits of hard work I developed I was able to have a successful internet business not because I'm brilliant but because I knew that I had to work hard and I knew that I had to do certain things I, I just knew that I had to advertise I knew I had to promote and there are many of you you, you're just so raw, you're just so raw, you don't know what you got to do, but I'm going to tell you, you got to promote your business. And this has happened because I worked very hard in one successful business. And once again, no shortcuts, no, no cutting corners, no trying to buy into one of these wild ass internet schemes, because the real money is going to come from real work and real dedication. And so hopefully this message finds you in good health and good spirits. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and more importantly, go to the beginning of the channel and start watching all of the videos because there will be economic benefits in it for you. So with that, I will see you guys yeah. in the next video. Yeah. And be sure After to watch I get it, I this video. After I get it, I reinvest. Because that's going to help you. Wanna talk that talk in reality, you have not seen me in action You think the come up comes overnight, you ain't behind the scenes Trust me, these things don't just happen No shade to Gerald, but G's don't come easy When you try to eat, I produce it and rap it I read that contract you sent me to sign But excuse me, I can't help myself, I'm just laughing Hey, you try to cut out a piece of my pie